again welcome to the session i am asha and i am going to help you with the following question which says which of the following statements are true and which are false give reason for your answer the first one is only one line can pass through a single point so let us consider a point let this point be a now let's see how many lines can be draw from this point This is one line. This is another line. This is one more line. One more line. Similarly, we can draw infinite number of lines which pass through this point. Hence, the given statement is false. And this can be visually seen. by the student so this completes the first part and now proceeding on to the second part which says there are an infinite number of lines which pass through two distinct points now let us consider two points x and y and let us draw a line which passes through these two points and on observing we find that there is only one line which passes through these two points and now we cannot draw any other line which passes through these two points and also by exam 5.1 of your book which says given two distinct points there is a unique line that passes through them therefore the given statement is false since this contradicts axiom 5.1 of your book so this completes the second part and now proceeding on to the third part which says a terminated line can be produced indefinitely on both the sides terminated line is a line segment so let us consider a line segment ab now it can be extended on both the sides which is postulate 2 of your book and thus we can say that the given statement is true by postulate 2 of your ncert textbook so this completes the third part and now proceeding on to the fourth part which says if two circles are equal then their radii are equal this statement is true because if you superimpose the region bounded by one circle on the other then they coincide their centers and boundaries coincide therefore the radii well coincide so this completes the fourth part and now proceeding on to the fifth part which says in figure 5.9 if ab is equal to pq and pq is equal to xy 
then AB is equal to XY. This statement is true by the Euclid's first exam that says things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another and here the line PQ is equal to line AB and XY also thus the line AB and XY are equal to each other. And thus we can say that the given statement is true by the first axiom of Euclid's. So this completes the solution. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good day.